welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you and doing a nail art tutorial with some Shein Modern products. Um, this one here is called a foil colouring out colouring and nail art and I've chosen um, the orange colour for these koi so I'm just going to do a little bit of a close-up for you and hopefully I won't blind you with my light that's what they look like there so you do get um, a couple of different sizes in the pack and you get the koi facing two different ways so if you want to do like mirror images on your nails like one way on one hand and one way on the other hand you can actually do that with these that's what they look like there. So I'm just going to open up the pack and um, show you what you get inside. So I have worked with um, these foils. I've done um, other nail arts and that and I will link the videos for you and my playlist down below so you can get a better look. So when they come to you, they come in a little sealed, um, oh sorry, unsealed bag. And I'll just pull that out and show you what you get. So you get a protective film at the front, so that's just for storage and I'll just show you how cute these look they are I mean they're foils so you're going to get a lot of reflection and stuff like that and these are an orange colorway so I sort of tried to go for more of a coppery color and um, yeah these have not disappointed at all so they're really really pretty there's just a storage backing sheet there now this sheet here is actually to convert these into stickers so you can make these into stickers and store them on here. So when you've got time, um, you know, get really creative, make little stickers with them and store them away in here for future use. And that's the idea of the sticker sheet. So one side is matte and the other side is shiny, as you can see. So I'm gonna make stickers with these today and um, make a nail art. And so you can get a bit of an idea of how the system works. So that's that there. And also in the pack you get some bonus um, foils. So she very generously puts, um, sorry get it into focus, um, bonus foils in there for you to use too. So these look like they're in the red colour and um, really really cute. In, in time for Christmas these ones happen to be so that's really nice, they're little Christmas baubles. And also in here you get the little um, sticker sheet as well so just like I showed you before you get one in here too so these are very um, that you'll get random ones so um, a different color or a different pattern in each in each pack and um, yeah great way to I mean there's definitely enough there to do a whole design and um, yeah great way to sort of try different ideas out and again you can store them away for future use so she also includes a, um, a little guide a reusable stencil guide so that's in there too and I have used that in previous videos so if you want to see how that all works definitely check out my other videos too and that's just a little reseal um, a, a protective sleeve just to store it and keep it nice and flat and then you also get a um, what she calls a mixing canvas so it's just like a little palette that you can use for um, glitters if you're working with glitters if you're working with gel polishes paints acrylics um, nail polish anything like that you can use that so it's double-sided one side is matte and the other side is glossy and you can just wipe that clean and store it away for a future use so these things are always handy to have there's lots of different ways I mean you can even use it for other nail arts for if you're doing gradients and things like that just to pop your nail polishes on too and then you can use a fan brush or something like that and do a gradient on your nails so yeah very very um, handy to have that so um, yeah I'll be doing a design on a, um, a practice nail today just to show you a bit of an idea of how you can use these so I'm going to speed the next part of the video up but I will do a voiceover so you can um, understand exactly what's going on and how it all works and then I'll meet you back at the end with the um, my final views on it okay thanks sit back relax and enjoy so all the products I use I will be listing them down below so this is the gel polish I'll be coloring in with and I am going to use a clear stamper and I'm just going to use it on the reverse side just to act as like sort of a, some, a, a surface for the foils to stick to. Now the trick here is to use as least amount of possible of the gel. Um, we want a nice thin even layer on there and don't go over the edge of the foil itself. So just clean your palette after you've done the desired number of um, foils. And I'm just wiping most of my no wipe top gel off. So I have actually cured that white base 
and now I'm just sort of going over the top of it with the with a very very thin layer of the um, no wipe top coat and I'm going to cure that as well in the lamp just how you normally would cure your um, you know your, your nails gel nails so just use something pointy to um, lift off the koi fish just off the um, the backing sheet there and then just pop them onto that sticker sheet just for later use so you can see how thin they are and that's what we're aiming for really nice and flat and thin so now I'm just preparing my um, practice nail this is the nail art I'll be showing you on and I'm just going to do a couple of coats of a one-step gel you can use any color you want to just make sure you cure it in between and I've cured that second layer, now I'm going to pop on a coat of the art gel. Now I've got lots and lots of different gel polishes here and like I said before I will actually list them for you down below. Um, there's just too many to sh show you, um, the video is going to get really long otherwise. So I've just put a coat of the art gel, it's just clear, onto the cured um, base polish. Now you just use it while it's wet and what happens is it disperses the gels into sort of like a halo effect. So you can, um, you know, add as many or as few as you want to, but you do have to work sort of fairly quickly as it will sort of keep dispersing to a certain degree. And um, yeah, just sort of keep working with it, adding different colors and things like that until you get the desired effect. So you can sort of do sweeping motions, you can do dotting motions, um, yeah, just use whatever you feel comfortable doing. So I'm just sort of adding these on bit by bit, looking at it and thinking, oh, I need to add a little bit more on here and um, just sort of adding um, bits of glitter and stuff in between. I decided to add some dots as well. So yeah, I just tried to use nice sort of colours that I thought would work really well together. These just all happen to be one step polishes from Madame Glam. And, um, but you can use any of your gel polishes that work well with Art Gel to um, achieve something similar. So I'm just sort of going to have a look around and see if I need to add any extra bits and I felt like I need a little bit more glitter. So I'm just adding some more bits onto it there. So it'll keep dispersing to a certain degree, um, but then um, you just do have to cure it under the lamp. So I did actually go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Uh, I decided to add a little bit more to that middle part there. I just didn't want the blobs being so big. So I've just sort of swept the brush through there. So I'm happy with that. Um, popping it in my lamp and I'm just, I've just cured it fully. So I've decided to add some chameleon flakies too. So I'm just popping on a coat of No Wipe Top Gel to the cured base, um, colorful base there. And I'm just gonna pop on a few of the chameleon flakies just for another element. Um, I sort of like the, the way it adds more of a 3D effect and a little bit more like a shell effect. So I'm just sort of adding a few more here and there where I feel like it's necessary. I've cured that under the lamp so everything's fully cured and dry. There's no sticky layer at all and I'm just popping these stickers that we've that I've prepared earlier onto that gel um, top. Now if you do have trouble sticking them down for whatever reason, if you've got a, a little bit of a thicker coat of gel and it's not sticking, you can just apply a little bit of foil glue. Um, just sort of stick it down one end and then roll the image down so you can get it as flat as possible. And that's the cured design there. So I've actually popped on, um, sorry, now I'm going to pop on a layer of top coat and cure that in the lamp and it's good to go. I'm just showing you a little bit more of a close up of it here and showing you how flat those foils actually are and how seamlessly they fit in with the base. Okay, so I'm back with the finished design and um, here's a bit of a close up look. I'll do a bit of a macro video thing with it too, but um, I'm really absolutely in love with this and I really like all the different elements and the fact that you know you can actually use a foil as um, with it coloured in and everything and all the detailing too. So yeah I've done a bit of fluid nail art and I've added some chameleon flakies and that just for a bit of ad added interest. I was trying to sort of get a bit of a um, underwater theme sort of thing or a stream running and um, that type of thing happening here with the um, with the colours and stuff and I felt like I sort of had to use darker colours to help the um, the koi stand out. Um, I've actually got another design that I did um, 
I did this one a couple of weeks ago with blue coloured koi. Um, so they were actually like ones that, you know how you get extra ones in your pack, they were part of that, so I just used them. And I've sort of done like lighter colours, but same sort of idea with the fluid nail art and um, used some chameleon flakies too. So yeah, just sort of goes to show you the versatility with these um, foils from She Modern. You can use them coloured in and you can also use them not coloured in just as a normal foil. But um, I mean the sky's the limit, it's you, you know up to the, the person that's creating with them um, to use different ideas and different elements and put their own stamp on it. So this is using the exact same fish, um, obviously just a different colour but the same design and they look quite different. So you know I really like how these ones pop on the background. These ones almost look like they're camouflage and they might be sort of swimming through the reeds or something like that so yeah and um, once again ladies thanks for stopping by I really do hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today I really really have I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this um, now I'm wishing I should have done it on my nails instead but um, I wasn't sure how the design was going to pan out because when you're doing fluid nail art um, it just can create anything pretty much so I just sort of kept adding bits until I was happy with it but um, um, yeah I sort of used my inspiration from this one that I did um, a couple of weeks ago so if you have any comments or questions just leave them for me down below and um, if you haven't done so already definitely subscribe to my channel it's free to do so I do two to three weekly uploads check out she moderns um, website and her youtube channel she's got loads and loads and loads of inspirational ideas different ways you can use her products so she not only does the foil nail arts but she does some creative stencils and glitters and powders and things like that too so definitely worth having a look at that and seeing what she's got on offer and um, if you're short on ideas check out the videos she's done check out the videos i've done and um yeah follow me on instagram too ladies thank you she modern for sending these out to me I've had an absolute blast with these and um, been lots of fun trying them out and ladies watch out I will be doing some more videos on and um, with using she modern products so keep a look out for those and um, thanks for stopping by I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are Bye.